Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla and I am a teacher and a mom to two. And as you can probably guess, today's video is a snow day vlog. We are going to play in the snow, tidy up the house, do some cleaning, and I just want to share some of my regular day with you outside of being a teacher. This is just me being a mom. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, um, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get into it. What's today, guys? It is super early in the morning and the kids are wanting to go in the snow immediately, but I made them wait until at least 10 o'clock. I just wanted to tidy up the kitchen a little bit and get breakfast going. I actually made some of these crescent danishes yesterday, so I'm just reheating them in the oven. I used regular crescent rolls. I added uh, cream cheese and a strawberry filling. That was it, and my daughter loves them. So the snow was still coming down strong and the kids wanted to go out so I finished up the dishes from breakfast and then we went looking for snow boots and snow pants and shocker we did not have snow boots that fit the kids. I don't know why I assumed that last winter's boots would fit this winter because they don't. So we found what we had and we're going to go with it and head out there. So here's me checking the size of the shoe, wondering why it will not fit my son this year because it was his shoe from last year. So we tried to make it work and it didn't. And then we ended up just using my daughter's boots from last year for him to wear. And they were too big, but they worked because these ones were too tiny and he immediately was like, no way, these are too small. And luckily I have winter boots that my mother-in-law got me like eight years ago and these Sorel winter boots have lasted me so long. They're perfect and I'm just so glad that she got them for me that one Christmas. Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart up on my sleeve. Can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me? Are you ready to go? Yep. Let me tighten those. Those covered all the. Let's go. It's a stick. Wow. It's in the car. Russell, say happy snow day. Happy snow day. This was our first day back to school. What a like extra Christmas present to have a snow day on our first day back. Santa wasn't done spreading all of his Christmas cheer. <laughs> so cold and the wind. Wind is so bad. It was like making a tree break and we heard a big crackle and then I was like, is there gonna be a tree that falls on this? Like, I'm not ready for that. But we are surrounded by a lot of trees, so it's likely that it could happen. But <laughs> we're just hoping that. We are inside now. The kids are warming up by the fire, watching a movie, and I'm making them some hot dogs for lunch. Um, we're just keeping it really simple for lunch today. I'm gonna make some chili later this evening, but this is what we're doing for lunch. Now what name should I use? Has lunch, Maybe guys. You can be the name of one of your powers. Yeah. Hmm. Best day ever. It is. Why is it the best day ever? Because it's snowing outside. Is it good? Yes, because because oh uh, because of the rain. Maybe it's snowing. Maybe it's seven it's, 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 yeah, it's still snowing out there. The kids are taking a break, so I'm gonna try to tackle a little bit of this playroom because I didn't really get to it over Christmas break. So I'm gonna clean up some of this and then the kids to come in and like play because right now they're on the TV, which is fine because they just came in from snow and I just need them to stay in there while I clean because 
It's just not gonna happen if they're in here. <laughs> so, um, all right, let's get to cleaning some of this mess. All right, it, as you can see, it's a huge mess. Um, we've got a lot of storage in this playroom, but making it look nice has been the hard thing because they have so much stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna try the best I can to make a quick clean so the robot vacuum can come in here and, um, and do that. The plow is finally coming through, so we're gonna at least have a plowed street. There it goes. Thank you. The playroom is just one of those spots in my house that I never feel like is clean. I never feel like it's going to look nice, but I just try to tell myself that it's not going to be like this for long and just embrace the mess. Try to tidy when I can. That's what my mom tells me to do. So we're just going to do the best we can and try not to stress about the mess. I am so thankful I have that vacuum, but I feel like it doesn't really get up a lot of the dirt. It's good, but sometimes I feel like I need to go over with the regular vacuum. I would ideally like to get rid of this carpet in the playroom, um, but replacing hardwood, so expensive. I don't know. I know that there are other types of wood, like the fake wood you can get. So if you have any recommendations for um, new wood, like the fake or the um, other vinyl planks, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other ideas for how I can organize and store things in this whole open concept of um, built-in storage, I don't even like know what to call this, but all of my baskets are different colors and I feel like I try to make it all match and then it ends up just looking a mess. So any suggestions are appreciated. Okay, so I've made some progress. It's definitely getting there. I'm gonna make the kids tackle cleaning this, the kitchen area. I'm gonna clean off that table, um, get all of that, all those toys out of the way, and then I'm gonna bring the vacuum in here. This is just still a work in progress. I'm gonna continue trying to tackle this dining room, which we actually use as the kids' like art room, um, because we just don't eat in here. So, we also have our kids' um, bars for gymnastics, another toy. So, it's kind of like just another playroom, but it's like the art room and the place to keep everything else because we just don't eat in here. We actually eat in the kitchen. So, we have stools here and then our table here. All right, so I actually made a decision to swap out the, um, what is this called, tablecloth and put on a red one that I had. I feel like it looked more Valentine's Day-ish. And this is for the kids. I mean, it doesn't look the greatest. This actually isn't even a real table. This is a pull-out table, like a foldable table. So it is what it is until we get a new table, but I don't want to spend like a bunch of money. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on a nice table for my kids to ruin it because they will. Um, they've already ruined the chairs. Like, look at these chairs. A uh, little bit older. We'll get a really nice table and put that in there. But for now, that's what it is. Um, here's the playroom. It's looking pretty good. The vacuum came in here for a little bit, but it needs to come back. So I need to go get, get that and put it back in here. Um, all right, the kids are going to play. And then we might go back out in the snow. I really don't feel like it. Um, but we might go back out in the snow. And I might do my hair makeup if I'm feeling adventurous. But we'll see. So I'm just looking here and I'm like, I don't feel like this bush is normally touching our house. I think a tree fell. I'm gonna go out and see. It's just, it's just arching all the way to our house. Wow. Wow. It's not fully broken, it's just arching. The, it's just, the snow is so heavy. The snow is so heavy that it's, all the trees are like leaning over. There he is. What's he gonna do? Why is he pulling at? Hi, 
Oh, jeez. What's he doing that for? Trying to make it less heavy up. What is he trying to do? I did run upstairs and do my makeup real quick because I want to get like a cute picture with the kids outside. The snow's slowing down. Um, I just put some firewood in our wood stove. The kids think I'm still upstairs. I don't think that they know that I'm down here. Because I can hear them. And normally if I'm downstairs, they'll want to be down with me. Or if I'm upstairs, they'll want to be upstairs with me. Are you having a show? Harper's singing and I'm the audience. Oh, beautiful singing, Harper. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was downstairs. Yes. No. no. I was downstairs. Mom, you said you were putting makeup on. I'm done putting my makeup on. All right, we're going out again. Don't throw a snowball at me. Uh oh. Um, this is spooky. None are leaning good. None are leaning our way, are they? Oh no! Ah! Harper, what are you doing? You're gonna fall. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, okay. You're trying to knock him over. <laughs> It is so cold. Uh, no. Whoa, jeez. That was a relief. That was a relief. I'm gonna go inside. My husband is taking the kids out, thankfully, because I just don't feel like going out again right now. I already went out twice, and I've gotta make this chili. My kids don't eat chili, but my husband and I do. He doesn't even really like it that much, but it's easy for me to make, so I'm just making a simple chili for dinner. They're outside for round three. This time my husband went out with them um, so I could make this chili and do the dishes. So it's five o'clock. Gotta get the dishes done. Um, the sink all clean, and then it'll be time for dinner. I got this tastefully simple beer bread mix um, from a colleague that was having a tastefully simple party. So it was pretty easy to mix, and the bread actually tasted pretty good. So um, I'm happy with it, and I'll probably make it again because I've got two more bags in my pantry. So this is just a nice, like, easy bread to make um, for a snow day. Since my kids don't like chili, I just made them some buttered noodles with some Parmesan cheese on top. I had two extra garlic bread sticks in my freezer. I don't know how I lucked out and had exactly two left, but I was so thankful for that. And then I added some cucumbers for a side.
All right, I took my makeup off, bathed the kids, showered myself. Um, so I'm going to end our snow day, day in the life here. I'm hoping that tomorrow's a snow day, but we don't know yet. We haven't heard and it's almost seven o'clock. So um, make sure you head over to my Instagram at Kayla Ray Nelson or my TikTok, also Kayla Ray Nelson. I post over there every day, definitely on Instagram stories every day, TikTok every day or every other day. Um, content like this, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new content. Watching, bye.